Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at top 10 nerfs for the new season, season 20 that at least maybe I want to see in the game. I don't know, like I know a lot of people don't really like nerfs for season, but basically a lot of people also complain right now about how still the meta is and how they see all the same Pokemon the entire time and how the recent move updates or whatever never really changed the meta. The reason for this is most Pokemon that are currently top tier are not really anything that Pokemon Go really easily can beat any with any other Pokemon. Like there's no real core breaker anymore to the Pokemon that we have because they are in it together such a great core that we kind of have to nerf them a little bit, I feel like. And that's kind of around uh, like what you kind of try to do with this video today. Um, I expect that we're going to get the new season update basically or like the new season information. Well, we have the World Championship going on the last season. They already revealed basically all the information during a tournament there as well. So very likely for Worlds, we're going to get everything towards new season. So before that, I kind of want to make a videos towards yeah, what can change, what might be interesting to change, and so what do you want to see in terms of videos? We'd really like to see that in the comment section because the next two weeks we don't really have the best cups available anyway, so let's take a look at the next season, which is going to be a huge one because usually afterwards the seasons are pretty juicy. Anyway, we're gonna move on to the first change here real quick and see what we want to have here. This is going to be Mudshot. Mudshot, honestly, is everywhere. Like, Mudshot is one of the best fast moves currently in the game. Um, and honestly, I don't, of course, for most of the changes, I'm not going to completely ruin the Pokemon itself. I just kind of want to make them a little bit more balanced and maybe let them see a little bit less light right now. But in nearly every cup right now, we have like Mudboy Invasion. It is kind of sad. And so, especially also for the Ultra League with Greedent, but also for just Great League with the Mudboys with Cash as well as the Cragsire, which are super good. I kind of just want to have a little bit of a nerf towards them. Um, a lot of the nerfs also can kind of allow some buffs again, by the way. For example, here with the Galarian Stunfisk, I would like to see something get buff for Earthquake again. So make this Pokemon a little bit more powerful in this kind of regard, but this might be something for a different video. Um, but yeah, for example here, I would like to see one less damage on the Mudshot, which would allow it to have a little bit less farm down. So, as you can see here, for the example of Whiskash, we see what it currently can do. It is usually a bit better than what shows here on PE Poke because um, on the Scald debuff way there, for PE Poke, every single first Scald is never going to get the debuff. Of course, in real life, that's going to be different, so like the average rating is a little bit wrong there. But as you can see here, this small nerf is not going to change too much, but going to change it a little bit. That is, has a little bit of a less average rating there. And yeah, barely going to be a big change for them because, again, Machad is not known for doing a lot of damage but I would even lower the damage a little bit further here as well just because of all those Pokemon that have been dominating the meta for ages but still it would not really defeat the purpose it still will allow um, Mud Boys to be decent but still it kind of makes it a little bit more balanced and this kind of what the video is about anyway. Moving on to the next one. What I have to say as well, real quick about this video, a lot of the changes are kind of going on into each other basically. So like one change kind of requires the other change, things like this, we're gonna talk about it along the way as well. We're gonna have here next deal wing, something that I have already talked about before. I was suggesting six damage in the beginning, the Antic did seven damage. It was definitely a mistake. Like Skarmory is way too strong. And so minus one damage to what I was also suggesting to before to get buff to is going to be the better way to go for six damage on Steel Wing is just way, way smarter. Sorry for Empoleon, and Poion is totally balanced with the move, don't get me wrong, but um, yeah, Skarmory is just so strong. Here we also see why it's so strong. 27 wins, 15 losses, basically beating everything in the meta other than like Annihilate, which we're also going to tackle here today. Um, it's going to be kind of ridiculous, like you only get beaten here by Steel-type Pokemon, and if you don't have a Steel-type, you get it, kind of gets destroyed by Skarmory, and this is not how it's supposed to be happening. And so we're going to drop the attack from like Steel Wing by a one damage. And as you can see, this is going to only lost two, um, yeah, basically has two losses here. But um, as you can see as well, the average rating drops quite a bit, which is good, which makes it a little bit more balanced. And still you're going to have a lot of matchups that are very much in your favor. And still Steel Wing is still doing quite a lot of damage. So it is still a good Pokemon to use. It is definitely just a little bit more balanced, which I think is going to be a change that has to come eventually. Like I cannot see as like Skarmory being around like this for ages, especially as Skarmory completely destroys um, any kind of grass type Pokemon right now, which is a big um, annoying thing for the current meta because you have so many mud boys and we would like to destroy them with like grass type Pokemon, but you just, it's just too risky to run them. And so I hope for this change, like for sure, this is one of the changes I really would like to see in the game. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. This seems maybe a little bit silly to you. Rock throw, uh, getting a nerf by one damage, even though you don't see carving too often right now anyway. 
here's the thing with all with the changes that you're still gonna see but also with the changes that you saw already carbink would be completely broken most likely would be by far the best pokemon to use then because steering get nerfed much shot getting nerfed there are going to be some other changes that will definitely benefit um carbink as well so i kind of just want to drop this a little bit so it wouldn't be completely too busted this like kind of those um, chain reactions from nerfing one thing making another thing a little bit more busted to be fair and so as you're gonna see here carving going to get a little bit of a loss but in total if you would actually consider all the other changes towards it carving would either stay the same or get a little bit of a buff even though it's a nerf which is kind of how meta um changes are going to be like it's not always like if you change one pokemon you change quite a lot of other pokemon with it together which has like different matchups towards them so yeah definitely carving would be one of the pokemon that will benefit quite a bit from the changes we had before and so we kind of want to nerf it before that Next one, nothing to do with Great League, so we can kind of just talk a little bit about it. Sensei Storm here kind of needs a little bit more energy or less damage. I would opt for more energy because I don't feel like it is fair to have a move like this, like a bait move um, on Pokemon like Landorus that can guarantee drop the opponent's attack. Like if you see this Pokemon in the Master you know already this thing is just way too good for the last few, um, yeah, month already. Like I think it's like nearly a year already available like this. It is one of the most busted Pokemon so far, of course. The other Pokemon for the Master League, which we're actually going to talk a, little, a bit about as well at the end for like one of them um, that are also very strong and maybe a little bit too strong right now as well, but I feel like this has to change a bit. Sensei Storm, especially in the two-shield scenario, is just too, too strong. Like I feel like it is just way too ridiculous, so hopefully they change it a bit as well. Then again, they might have to buff some other things to counter um, those Steel-type Pokemon, which I'd like to see. Maybe give Incinerate to something like Heatran would be kind of cool. Stuff like this I would like to see for the Master League just to counter those other Steel-type Pokemon, but just not Landorus with a debuffing move like Sensei Storm. I feel like that's a little bit too ridiculous right now. So, small nerf there, which has a big difference because you need one extra fast move on um, Landorus to get to the Sensei Storm now, and so I feel like this would be a little bit fairer. Next one is going to be something that a lot of people don't really like to see because oh they are always arguing oh Lickitung like normal type Pokemon boy Sam cannot be super effective yeah true but the main benefit of having the normal typing is actually not the offensive pressure but the defensive effectiveness because you only have the weakness to fighting and you only get resisted by steel rock and ghost I think I guess but like yeah you're only going to have the defensive weakness of fighting which is quite a common move right now but I would kind of change something towards it as well later on so yeah defensively defensively like normal types have always been very very strong and so I don't really see the point of having such a busted move like body slam available to them again Greedon super annoying for the ultra league like Tang super annoying in the great league and also I just kind of want to get rid of having a Vigoroth and Dubwool being the best Pokemon in any kind of limited meta right now and this is kind of one of the reasons why I feel like body slam needs kind of a nerf here, yeah, only a few Pokemon really get affected by it, but those hopefully... Like, honestly, I kind of really want to see Vigoroth disappear, I have to say. I feel like it's just too strong for too long, and also Lickitung can kind of go down. But So let's take a look at Lickitung here for the change. We're going to see right now, Lickitung is going to get 26 wins and 16 losses in the Open Great League. For a normal type Pokemon, yes, it's of course a very kind of neutral Pokemon to play, but this will not go away by only like reducing Body Slam by 5 damage. As you're gonna see here, it's gonna lose 30 average rating and 5 matchups, which is totally fine because it's still a very neutral Pokemon that has a good coverage. And if you take a look on the right side, actually the matchup itself barely really changed here, which is kind of mad. And so, yeah, honestly, it is going to still be a very solid Pokemon to use. There's still so many matchups that you can still win with it. So, yeah, though I would not really worry too much about it. It still would be a very good one. I still kind of feel like Vigoroth is going to. Not enjoy a different kind of change that I would suggest as well later on. Which is this one. Counter, getting nerfed by one damage. It is at the point right now where I look through the meta basically and um, for especially the play Pokemon tournaments there are two things that are always kind of present. There's always a counter user, there's always a flying type Pokemon. And both of those kind of things I kind of want to reduce a little bit in terms of what we are doing here today with the video and hopefully maybe Niantic going to copy this, who knows. Haven't actually quite a lot in the past already but yeah counter getting a minus one damage nerf i feel like would make a lot of sense at the current time there was a time already like i think around a year ago where i also suggested this was like hmm, maybe you can do it maybe you shouldn't do it. it really depends right now i'm definitely leaning towards you kind of have to do it at this point and what i would like to do as well at the same time just do something like force bomb like do something that 
gives um, fighting type Pokemon a different kind of style of playing, giving like some more, I don't know, longer fast move duration moves instead of just counter and just widening up a little bit of the choices. For example, we also have Karate Chop, which is like a Powder Snow clone. Powder Snow is usually a good fast move. So like maybe some Pokemon will use this one now. But yeah, basically counter nerf is kind of also impacting some like carving, so kind of getting nerfed there. Is kind of decent, maybe even nerf Smackdown for Bastion. I bet Niantic gonna buff it, no, or whatever. But um, anyway, we're gonna take a look here at counter. This is going to be definitely a very impactful one for the meta, which I feel like is kind of Like, honestly, everybody's kind of tired of seeing the same Pokemon all over again, and so why not do like some actual changes? And this would definitely change the meta quite a bit. You see already, Annihilab is gonna drop quite a bit with that as well. Like, only actually dropping four wins though, still gonna give it the same kind of matchups, which you can see from the left and the right side. You're still going to be able to win the same kind of ways. But for example, in Cresselia, you see a small change there. That's now a very worse matchup because now um, Night Sash and Counter are so kinda like the counter damage doesn't really add up as much because actually the Cresselia matchup is not that bad for Annihilab usually. But just having a little bit of counter pressure is kind of important. And that's also why, for example, Body Sam was the nerf that I would suggest as well. If you nerf counter, you kind of have to nerf also like the Pokemon that it would usually be weak to counter, like Licky Tongue, that kind of enable counter to be as strong as it is currently. So that's kind of also like those kind of ways where those move updates kind of intervene with each other. But this is going to be it for this one. Let's move on to the next one. One of the um, moves that also a lot of people don't really like is going to be Charm. And yes, Charm, I would also suggest a slight nerf here by one damage. This is not going to impact this one quite as much as, for example, Counter impacted one. Because you have one damage on three turns here. Still, you have 14 damage, which is ridiculous. Charm actually got nerfed before. I think it started off with like 16 or 17 damage. But like um, 14 damage seems way, way better for this one and way, way more balanced, which you can see here now as well. Here's the only time where I'm not going to take a look at the one shield scenario, but actually taking a look at the two shield scenario because it showcases a little bit more on how ridiculous Rickly Tough is in the current meta. Having 31 wins and 11 losses is absurd. Like it's just way too strong. Like not going to hit, it's way too strong. Um, and so we kind of like. If you take a look also at the Pokemon that beat it, basically other than Carbink, which has just way too much bulk, any other Pokemon that just beat in two shit scenarios are just Steel type Pokemon. And that is a little bit too crazy to just only have like one type that can really beat your one Pokemon here. So I would suggest Wicked Tough getting a little bit of a nerf here as well with Charm getting a nerf. And as you can see, it still has an overall rating of 600, which is ridiculous in two shit scenarios. So you're still going to be able to farm down those Pokemon, but um, the changes are not even that dramatic. Like again, you're gonna lose six different matchups there, but um, it's just gonna make them a little bit closer than they were before, but still you're going to charm away quite a lot of Pokemon with it, and it's definitely not going to impact it too much, but I feel like a slight nerf is definitely something that charm would need. You could even argue of keeping the damage and dropping the energy a little bit, but um, yeah, no matter what, charm definitely needs a nerf. Like, really tough is currently everywhere in the open Great League, and I don't really like it, so hopefully this is going to change a bit for the next season. Next one, um, I was actually a little bit, um, I don't know, like, I, was, I was not too sure about this one in the beginning and then I was looking at it and now I'm definitely sure that I want to see this one. Here's the thing, in the current meta, Aerial Ace is not a great move, like 55 damage, 40 energy, it's not a strong move at all. But um, the thing is just that all of the Pokemon you see on the screen right now are so insanely spammy with it, that's going to be kind of ridiculous to battle against them. Like, you know about Gligar and Mantine. Both of them usually can flip even matchups that are bad for themselves, especially, for example, the Gligar. If you have a little bit of energy advantage just because you're too spammy, like having Shadow Gligar with Aerial Ace and Wing Attack going up against like something like a Feraligator, and, like if both are Shadow, you actually, I think, win this as a Gligar, which is... Just not something that's supposed to be happening, in my opinion. So we're gonna drop it a little bit here by 5 damage. And as you're gonna see here, this is the one shield scenario for Mantine in the current Open Great League. I was not aware that it wins 29 of them and only loses 13 of the matchups here, which is absolutely overpowered. We're gonna see here um, a 69% win, win rate, which is of course very nice. But with a nerf here, we're gonna see 5 more losses, which makes it just more balanced. And I think that's something that would be very, very healthy for the meta to have every ace drop a little bit again. Even though it just got buffed, basically, I feel like it is a little bit too strong right now, even though the move itself is not strong, just the Pokemon that learn it, and the way it interacts with Wing Attack being perfectly, uh, basically perfectly available after 10 turns of usage, it's just a little bit too strong in my opinion. So yeah, I think, I think that the small nerf is going to work quite well for it. 
Moving on to the next one, here we can skip through it a little bit faster, like it's kind of more of an um, either if uh, change here, if you want to kind of give a dig a little bit my energy again or not, it's just busy mainly towards the Gliga, I'm just a little bit sick of Gliga being everywhere again in every kind of meta. And um, yeah, again, here actually I'm gonna put in both the Aerial Ace and Dig change, which of course impacts this Pokemon maybe a bit too much, but if one of those changes are coming in, I feel like it's going to be fine. I feel like Aerial Ace would be the better one to go for. But I also can see that Niantic is not really want to do, mess around with too many Pokemon because they only really impact Gliga. And so like if they change this, they kind of don't, they, they may maybe only screw over one Pokemon. But yeah, Aerial Ace is definitely the more impactful change here than Dig. If you give it five more energy, it's just gonna not be as fast available for the second Dig move, which is definitely better for this one. But let's move on to the final one for the day. That's going to be Dragon Tail here. Only a few Pokemon really get impacted by this. Honestly, like you only have really the um, Steelix, the Gastrode, and the Zygarde using it. And we kind of want to focus about Zygarde here. We change it by minus one energy, which is going to make the um, pacing for Crunch a little bit more awkward and make this Pokemon a little bit more balanced. As you can see here, overall, winning 73.8% of the matchups is just ridiculous. And here, we still only drop it by two matchups, which is also kind of sad. So. Maybe there has to be a different kind of nerf, maybe there has to be a buff for Ice type Pokemon, which I would like to see as well. But um, right now, Zygarde is still kind of nearly unchecked, so it's quite ridiculous. I mean, maybe they buff some kind of fairy type moves as well, which would help against this Pokemon. But this is going to be it for this video so far. Hopefully, you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comment section what you want to see next. Maybe top 10 buffs for the next season that I want to see. I don't know. See you then. Bye bye.